I got my hands on a Hyundai HSG. What is the HSG? Fuck Fana. HSG is a hybrid starter generator. A uh, reason I'm excited as shit about that is because it has permanent magnets in it. Well, it's rotating now, but if you rotate it by hand, you can feel it stop and go, which is, you know, triggered my first thought. Uh, these have been out for a while. I just haven't worked up any hybrids. And I ran across this at the bay I was renting. Dude sold it to me for $20. Yeah. So I did some research on it last night, and it turns out uh, it does have Hall Effect sensors, as you can see here, and it has three phases. Now, from what I understand, the hybrid runs at about 360 volts, which is a fucking lot. I don't have that. I got a 48 volt battery pack, a cheap China 72 volt, it's like 36 to 72 volt e-bike ES spreadboard potentiometer and just some BS wiring. I have hooked this up. So my potentiometer here is my throttle. I can use it to ramp up the RPM. That's fucking cool. I'm probably gonna hear in the comments if I have viewers how no shit this was, but uh, I've been doing it to an alternator a while back and that was cool, but it didn't even have good takeoff because it wasn't censored. Mind you, I'm not even using the sensors and I don't think they hook up the same way that this does. This one's got good torque. For instance, I'll show you. Ow. Uh, All right, look, look, it's got plenty of torque because it hurts my hand really bad, actually. So that's... Do something. Ow. That's barely on the throttle, and I can go more. That's Ow. Ow. What's a better way to prove this? This hurts. Yes, yeah, so I can grab a fire. I can barely throttle, it starts kicking it off. I'm afraid to just ramp it. You want to understand this motor runs at 360 volts? The reason I know that is it starts the motor in the hybrid. I was looking at it, I mean, hell, I'm a mechanic. I was looking at them every time I come across it and go, damn, that's a crazy alternator. It must make a lot of power. Now, I knew, yeah, it's probably three phase and I can run it as a motor, but I didn't know its actual intent was a fucking motor. So that's pretty damn cool. Some dude with like 14 subscribers, whose name I can't remember, I'll put a card, but he ain't even making videos anymore. Has already been playing around with one of these. He was running 190 volts, said he sent it somewhere. Sound like a smart guy. And they said it was ready for around... They said it was rated for around 15 to 20 kilowatts of power, which from what I understand is about 14 to 18 horsepower, which I'm just randomly guessing a number that sounds about like what I've heard. So if it has 15 horsepower, we'll guess at 190 volts or even 360, that's crazy. Um, the hardest part is finding an ESC that will handle that voltage. I'm probably going to not, unless it just, I put a lot of effort into something and it sucks. I got nightmares. But uh, for now, I'm going to run with 72 volts. This battery pack's made of China garbage, um, so it probably isn't going to do the job when I put a load on it. But yeah, I'm thinking mini bike. Anxiety, anyway, filling up every space. Well, good enough of these videos, I probably convinced cars and cameras. Build and build until you find the sea. Whoa, I'm not. This taking over. Damn, no closure. Moving closer. Yeah, that was a pathetic no attempt of attention. I just want to be a loner. Uh, some kids, anyways, so things I'm wondering here is uh, on the back of this alternator, there's three lobes inside of the Hall Effect sensor. And uh, from what I understand on all the videos where I see people kind of put Hall Effects on the alternator, they use a one, two, three pulse. So I got nightmares. I don't know how many pulses they're getting per rotation. So I'm wondering, because the last guy in the video that I mentioned before, he's confused me talking about three poles and a single pole all the effect and having, or this is called a resolver, having to code something different. And uh, while I can code a little bit on Arduino, it's a whole lot of research on it. I'm hoping I can avoid that. We do have a total of six wires on this Hall effect setup. And from the great Chinese, I understand, none, uh, we have five wires in this. I'm thinking maybe they all share a common and then they get their switching on off the other three wires. Still leave one. Uh, we do have a temperature sensor in here and a ground. 
be the gray wire tool. So that might actually be what that other wire is. So I already got a plan, but you know, that's a plan for somebody who doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. Well, one way to find out, I get the whole effects of this going, which honestly, I may not even need to. Like, it literally hurts me to try to stop it. So it might actually take off under load, unlike the unfortunate failed attempt of Agent Wheels. I love that guy. Um, let's go wrap it up with this video. I am going to try to figure out the Hall Effect thing, but whenever I get this in something and moving around, or if I make it into a generator, then you six viewers will definitely be the ones I show. That my mind fills up into a creature, and it haunts me somewhere much deeper. I got nightmares in my head, I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear. That my mind fills up into a creature, and it haunts me somewhere much deeper. I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough. Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough. I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me. But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff. I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough. Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough. I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me.